Okay, now let's machine, machine these uh, curved slots. So, first of all, I will turn off everything that I don't need right now. Also the work piece, okay. Okay, what I will do now is I will create a new operation which will be also 2D contouring, but before I create it, I will select these surfaces with uh, holding control key. Please make sure that you have select surfaces here uh, enabled. Okay, and now I press new operation 2D, 2D contouring. You can see that if I have selected the faces before I create an operation, they automatically appear in the job assignment, which is, I think, very nice. Okay, and next we will use the same tool, 6mm cylindrical mill. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust a little bit bottom level because if we turn on the machining result visibility and check the workpiece, we can see that actually the workpiece is lower than the part. So I will just lower this uh, bottom level in order to make uh, the machining through the workpiece. Okay, and I will also check that I have enabled helical machining and now I press run. Turn on the toolpath visibility, that's it. So let's check the simulation. I will reset my workpiece, simulate up to current, reduce speed and let's go. Of course, this technology is not applicable if we have a very tough material or maybe not very strong tool, but in some cases it is uh, acceptable. So it, but and at the same time, it is the easiest way we can machine these slots. Okay, now I will show you the second option. Uh, in order to show it, I will first disable the uh, this operation, reset and disable. Okay, I will also turn off job assignment visibility. That's it. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to make is I'm going to drill a hole here. So I create uh, whole machining, but before, okay, let's do it. No problem. Okay. We need to make a job assignment for the whole machining because whole machining does not know by default which hole to drill. And as you can see here, we don't have any element, which can seem like a problem. But in Sprutcam, we have this little magic uh, tools. So I will use this one, which is normal, which is uh, drawing a normal vector. It is used for 5D machining and some other complex technologies. In my case, I need only the point in the center of this uh, half circle. So it is detected automatically. I will have smart snap enabled because without smart snap, nothing works here and click here and here I have a vector, so I turn it off. So this will be the center of my uh, hole I'm going to machine. Next, I will change the tool. So I'm using six millimeter cylindrical mill for milling. So I will choose a seven millimeter drill. Okay, that's it. Select for the operation. Nice. And now I need to adjust top and bottom level, which is also absolutely no problem. So select this one. Let's check. Okay. Select this one. So I want to that the tool comes out completely like this. And here I have the top level like this. Okay. Reset run. Okay. Very nice. I have a hole. Now, I'm going to do the same here. Um, let's let's do it. Okay. Uh, for example, I will put the vector here. Okay. Now I will tell Sprutcam that that this is my center. Okay. I will also adjust if I have if I've done this uh, this uh, to this. Uh, holes simultaneously 
I would have an, a possibility to to edit these parameters uh, simultaneously, but now I will edit them one by one. Reset, run. Okay, we have two holes. Very nice toolpath. And next I will choose 3D entry roughing waterline. Okay, I will select that cylindrical mill and uh, I need to set the job assignment. So what I'm going to do, I will choose these and these slots and tell Sprutcam that these are the pockets. Okay, now I will adjust top and bottom level, which are here. So we have top level is nice, bottom level is not so nice, so we will adjust it a little bit like this with a small overlap, okay. And next, the most interesting thing is that I need to tell Sprutcam to go through this hole first and then start machining. So because if we just press run and see what happens, well, it, by the way, it works by default, but in case we need to do this, uh, I will show you how we can do that. So we go to holes and here we can select this and this and tell Sprutcam that these are the centers. Okay, the toolpath did, didn't change because Sprutcam has detected them automatically, but you know, it doesn't work all the time. That's it. And I'm going to change the strategy. So the most, uh, the most uh, cool, the most uh, comprehensive strategy for uh, roughing waterline in Sprutcam is Adaptive SC, which is our own development. Uh, it's an adaptive operation, which is very, very useful for such Mm, for such uh, uh, slots, narrow slots where the tool load is very significant. So it will make tool load much, much better. So you can see the toolpath is very nice also. And it also is using the holes, drilled holes for the machining. Okay, now we can go to simulation and check the result. So I will reset, simulate up to current operation. Wait, let's select whole machining. One more time, reset, simulate up to current. Okay, and press run. Turn on the machine visibility like this. So first we are drilling holes. Of course, we are now using simple drilling, but we can also use all the uh, possible drilling cycles here. Okay, go to tool, change position, change the tool and go for the machining of the pockets. Okay, I will turn off the machine visibility like this. Okay, looks very smooth and very nice. So we recommend that you use this adaptive SC operation whenever it's possible. Okay, yeah, we can adjust the number of uh, number of uh, depth steps because now we have three which are not even. No problem, we can change it. Uh, let's check a depth step. Let's say we will go in three steps. Okay, and we also can disable clear flats like this. Uh, sorry, we need to input three here. Okay, now it's much better. Okay, that's it. So that's it for the slot machining in this project.